back to my channel this is the look for you guys today is a very simple cut crease type look with a glossy lip I'm really really digging this look I'm digging the face I'm digging just the whole look entirely uh, the eyes is featuring from this Lime Crime palette that I own. This is the Lime Crime Venus Venus palette. This is actually a palette that my god sister discovered and I was like girl you couldn't have been more on the money about this palette than me. Like this palette is amazing. The colors inside of the, the palette are incredible spring summer appropriate type colors. So I hope you guys will dig that. I'm also using a lippy from uh, the MAC Tribal type. What is it? The MAC. I don't know the collection's exact name, but it's the Tribal Print MAC Lippy. So I'm also using that. Just, you know, some new goodies that I got that I was able to put together and use for this look. So if you want to see how I got this look, please to continue to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see all of you in my next video. Bye, guys. So first, I'm going to prime my face. I'm using the Makeup Forever Step 1 hydrating primer this primer is amazing guys if you're dry skin it's great for your skin next I'm going in with the Tarte C brightener under eye uh, cream I've been using this cream for about a month now definitely see a difference definitely think this cream is worth the investment for illuminating and hydrating the skin some more I'm going in with the stroke cream from Mac this is actually the travel size I will be buying the larger size bottle I do see a difference in my skin I can put this on without any makeup and just go and it works great um, these brows need to be done like it is ridiculous but <clears throat> I'm trying to let them grow out in certain areas so I got to go to work on these brows. So I'm going to speed through this because the process is long. Um, I use the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Definer to fill these bad boys in. I used matte concealer on the bottom and NW35 to not only clean it up but highlight the area. And then I used the NYX Concealer in Nutmeg on the top of the brows to... Uh, it's more so closer to my skin tone. You guys know I don't really like that halo look around your brows. I use the uh, brush from Sephora. I'm not exactly sure of the number, but I did use a Sephora brush, and I'll put it in the description box below. And then I just buffed it all out so that they looked as good as they could possibly look because, like I said, they so need to be done. Now for one of the stars of the show, I use the Lime Crime Venice palette, and I'm going in with that color called Creation. It's a gorgeous brown. I don't know why it looks kind of red in this video now that I'm looking at it, but it's a brown color, guys. It's like a really warm brown. It kind of reminds me of Cocoa Bear a little bit. Like, yeah, definitely reminds me of Cocoa Bear just a bit. And I'm applying that with the E40 Sigma brush, and then I'm going in with the E25 uh, Sigma brush, and I'm applying that wineish reddish dark just gorgeous color it's called muse and I'm applying that into the crease just to further define the crease and it, it these colors guys like the payoff from these colors are amazing you don't need a lot you don't need to be heavy with the hand a little bit goes a long way and if you do want to make it a little bit bolder a little bit at a time it's easier to add on than take away so don't go heavy handed next I'm going in with that brown it's called icon and it is one of the most gorgeous browns I've ever seen it is so so gorgeous I'm taking a small pencil brush to apply this into the crease I don't want it to go any higher than the crease or any lower but if it does go a little lower which mine did it's okay we're gonna clean it up um, so you won't see it but definitely focusing it on the crease area only and this is like not the ideal brush to use to apply it but it's the smallest one that I had on hand and then I'm just gonna buff it out make sure that everything is seamless I'm going in with my soft ochre paint pot and I'm just applying this to the lid area and to clean up that cut crease a bit like I said I don't want that brown any any further down than in the crease so to clean it up so that you can't see it I'm gonna take my soft ochre paint pot from Mac and just 
clean it up like really clean up I wish I would have took it a little higher the soft ochre paint pot but it's okay for the lid color I'm going in with that color divine it's like a cool tone type uh, grayish kind of pinkish color I don't know how to explain it other than it is gorgeous and if you get this palette then you will see it is an amazing color and I'm just applying that all over the lid I'm going in with my wet and wild black liner I have not seen this liner in so long and I went into writing and they had and I was like oh I gotta get it I like this liner right under my Inglot like my Inglot gel liner is my top liner this is my second favorite liner out of all the gel liners that I've ever tried Inglot is number one but I'm kind of out and this one comes second and I just even them out and of course you guys know Vegas Nay all day baby and my Stila Mascara which is my favorite mascara I have to get the larger one um, I got this one as a gift and then I got one in like a set that it came with I have to get the large one this is by far my favorite mascara I love this mascara with or without lashes it's just amazing if you don't have this mascara you guys need to get on it it's a great great mascara and I'm just applying my lashes and now we're on to the face I'm using the Maybelline super stay better skin foundation I am in 95 coconut and I'm using my beauty blender to apply this you guys know that this foundation is one of my favorite drugstore foundations and it is best applied to me with a beauty blender it just goes on smoothly evenly no no issues with it it's a great 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 foundation after I let it set a little bit just to dry we're gonna go on to highlighting I use my LA Pro concealer in warm honey to you know bake this baby out and then for the rest of the face I set it with my Sasha Buttercup and use my Mac in C8 foundation powder to set the rest of the face I'm gonna do the under eye I used a little bit of that gel liner in the waterline and on the outer portion of the waterline sorry for guys that I'm out of frame but on the outer portion of the waterline I not only place it in the waterline but a little bit under the waterline like I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys but just smoked it out on the outer areas I use that color creation that brown that kind of reminds me of Coco Bear and I um, smoked it out a bit and then I went in with Muse right after that and focused that on the outer portion of the eyes I didn't take it all the way into the corner but just makes ma mainly focus that on the outer portion and like three quarters of the way into the eye and then I took that brown color with a smaller definer brush and like got as close to the lash line as possible and um, set that that black um, gel liner and then I went in with that mascara and just boom eyes on fleek like just totally banging love 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 this look so simple so easy yet it does something I don't know if that makes any sense but it does something now for bronzer to bring some light some color back to this face I'm going with the girl in terracotta bronzer I am in ebony or I believe it's like number eight or something like that and I'm just bronzing contouring with this um, bronzer a bit just slimming down the cheekbones the forehead the nose area you know underneath the chin just making all of that look a little slip and slender and then of course bringing color back to the face I'm also going to do my nose with my small just brush that I love to use and I also take it down my cupid's bow a little bit and right underneath the nose and then to give the face that glow I'm using the Sonia Kashik bronzer in goddess it's like a luminous um, bronzer going over that contour I love the way this stuff works you know it's every every now and then I like to pull out an oldie but a goodie this is my oldie but a goodie for this look and then I'm going in with a girl Laura Gerlin uh, girler uh, blush Ooh, tongue twister it's the big gelato vivid swirl blush and plumberry gorgeous pink color I love the way this looks on women of my complexion and then for highlighter I'm going in with Dorothy it's by Gerard cosmetics it has become like one of my top highlighters I love the formulas for the Gerard cosmetic highlighters they are gorgeous and they just they're highlighters for for women of color they just you know amaze balls so I'm gonna set the face with a little bit of fix plus not using it on my eyes I had already applied my mascara and I didn't want it to run for the lips I use a 
brown lip liner from Absolute. And then I took this lipstick by MAC. Like I said, it's from like the Tribal collection or so. It's called Arrowhead Matte Lipstick. It kind of reminds me of Myth just a little bit, but it's a bit more matte to me. And then I use my finger just to blend the lip liner with the lipstick together so it doesn't look like chalk. You know, I hate that chalk lipstick type look. Um, you can wear this look matte, but I wanted to spice it up a bit. So I went in with my um, Milani uh, Liquid, what is it, Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss in the color Bare Secret. Y'all know I love their lip glosses. They're amazing to me. But this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you choose to recreate. I will see all of you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.